hey there, and how are you today? We are going to build a boutique today. And I already pre-cut, made all my pre-cuts, and I wrote everything down on a piece of paper that I will be including at the beginning of this video, so you know what cuts you need to make. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we are going to do the inner walls. So I have the inner walls, they are 14 inches high, they're 11 inches from the inside on both sides, and I have 8 inches for the middle. Now we're not going to cut all the way through. What we're going to do is we're going to just cut, score them along these two lines, which I've already pre-measured. Do not cut all the way through. So I'm going to try to cut neatly. Okay, there's one side. Now for the other side here. Okay, now that I've cut the first two parts, what we're going to do is going to do a basically a bend and snap. Okay, so I have these two sides taped down, and when you fold them, this will be the outer wall, so the break will be on the outside, and this will be the inner wall. So I get my scrapbook paper from a variety of sources. I got this scrapbook paper from Hobby Lobby, and I'm going to use this to go on the outside of the wall. I'm not over worried about it going all the way up because I'll be adding some trim to the tops and bottoms. So I just need it to kind of just be in the middle. To add this part first. So here is the bottom. All done here. So you can, so we have the bottom part of it. We're going to fix this, don't you worry. Now I'm going to add, I cut some, um, I probably should have cut them a little wider, but I have these cut at half an inch, so that I have two half an inch by 11 and one half an inch by 8. And I'm also going to wrap these in the same paper. And I will be putting those at the tops here. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so I have the outside done, and I'm going to be putting some um, posts here, so it'll kind of cover up some of these rougher edges. Now, we are going to put the paper on, on the inside. We're going to paper the inside of this place. And for this, I have, I decided to kind of go with something different. So I have three different kinds of papers. So I have this, and it coordinates with this, and this. So I thought I'd kind of put this like on this wall, on this back wall, and then maybe put in one of these over here, and one of these over here. So it kind of, all right. So anyway, so I'm going to glue these in. I'm going to glue them in pretty much in the middle like I did on the on the other side. All right, see you guys when you're finished doing your gluing. Okay, so I have the inside covered now. This will be the inside of the store. This is the outside of the store. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the foam board that I pre-cut and I'm going to wrap those in this brick paper. I'm going to make sure though that I cut along this line here. I'm not going to worry too much about um, doing the bottom of it. You just want to make sure you have one side done. And cut off the one piece first. I use one of these to cut with. I find it helps a lot because, you know, especially for me, um, my cutting isn't always as precise as I would like it to be. This helps make it a little more so. So I'm going to kind of measure on here. 
on here so I know about how much I want to wrap around and I want to make sure I have enough to come all the way around it. Then I slide, you're going to be cutting down on this part here. You'll see this is where the, in the grooves is where the cut will be. So make sure it's nice, the paper is nice and snug on there. Then you, there you go. One piece on the board itself. Then I put it there on the on the paper. make sure that is set and of course you will have these edges here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of trim the trim the very ends of the edges and I cut those little tabs off then I'm going to trim in on an angle both sides Then I'm going to glue it, fold it over, and you have a fairly neat seam this way. And I know you can't see it from the upside, but from the other side, it, so it kind of gives a little more uh, detail, a little more interest. The first one done is for the, for the middle, so I'm going to glue this part down here right now. That way I can kind of see some progress. It'll make me feel like I'm getting something done. So it'll make me kind of happy. So I'm just going to kind of spread the hot glue all over the place on this thing. And then put it down at the bottom. It won't fit in perfectly because, you know, it's... Okay, and so here's the outside of the building for now. And now we're going to do the inside. But before we do add too much to the inside, we need to make a floor. And so for the floor, this is where you want to cut it by, you want the lengthwise to be 19 inches across and 11 inches this way. Okay, so 19 by 11. And I already cut where I'm going to kind of separate it. And I cut that eight inches in. So eight and then all the way down. You're not going to cut all the way through. Again, you're just going to cut enough to do a bend and snap. So once again, I will attempt to cut neatly. Okay, so I've got that cut. You can see, so you kind of cut down to about here. Uh, and you do the snap. So now this is, this is going to be the floor for this room. And I did it like this, that way you can have this in here like so. So you have it glued in. And you can have flooring going all the way across when it's open. Say when you want to close it, it will close in. But next thing before I go too far though is I want to cover the floor. Now you can use um, anything you want to cover the floor. You can, or not cover at all. You can, um, you know, I myself have some contact paper. So I bought this contact paper. It's um, it's already shiny because I like the floors to be shiny, and if it isn't already shiny, I will um, add tape all across the floor to make it look shiny that way. But for this situation, I just need to do this. So I'm just gonna cut the flooring. So what you want to do is you want to cover the floor, and okay. And so for the floor, this is where you want to cut it by, you want the lengthwise to be 19 inches across and 11 inches this way. Okay, so once again, I will attempt to cut neatly. Okay. 
So I have it covered in the contact paper. Not as perfectly as I would like, but it's okay. And I'm not going to be too worried about this edge here because it's going to be covered. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to glue... Whoops. <laughs> I'm going to glue this part and this part. I'm not going to glue this, but along here and here will be getting glued. Once you have it all glued in, like this, and then you have this side that folds up. So when you're through playing or someone else is through using it, you pack everything up inside of here. And it's all self-contained. And when you want to have it out, you have a large work area. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add the trim to all these areas. And I did do have some more trim board cut. So I think I'm going to need to cut some more though. I might have undercut. So anyway, what you want is you want two of the half inch by 11 and one and one half inch by eight. The half inch by eight will go here and the 11s will go here. So, anyway, I am not going to cover these in anything. I'm going to put them in just as they are. All right, so I have the top parts on. So I'm going to cut the I'm going to cut two pieces of foam board, one for here, one for here, inches by about half an inch. I'm going to glue this. Here's one of them I'm going to glue into its into its spot. That one is going to go. Make sure that we're closed. This is well. okay. So this one is going to go here. It isn't entirely perfect. Yeah, oh well. This one is going to go, I'm going to put this here, like so. There we go. All right. We have our room. The basics of it is all ready to go. And now we just need to fill it up with things. Build. I want to build will be a counter, first of all. So I have... This one, I have one piece cut seven inches by four inches. Then I have two more cut one, one inch by seven, one by seven. And I'm going to, I'm not going to be too worried about what these look like because they're going to be on the inside and I'm going to glue them together. So I'll show you. So, but I'm going to have it so it's like so. So there's a little bit of a lip on the other side, like if a customer is going to stand there. So just going to glue along these tops here. And try not to take too off along. There's a counter for them to work at. And I want to I think I have something that I want to put on there. Let me... Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to put some more of this on both sides here. Okay, so now I'll put this one on this side. Now, what I should have done, I should have covered this before I glued this to the top. Yeah, because I want to wrap that in some contact paper so it looked kind of shiny also. So I have the counter ready and um, so a Barbie can stand at it, I believe. Let me just make sure I've got a Barbie. And I like that. Um, I also like to use my tall Barbie, so I try to make sure everything is fair for them as well. And it looks like she can stand at this counter. Right? Yeah. So there we go. Okay, so we have a counter ready. 
or when we when they want to pay for things. Now we have some shelves. And I cut out one, two, three, four. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six of these. And on top of these, I also cut out these little triangles. I'm going to put glue these little triangles to them. So that's where you have some bracing that goes on. So first of all, I'm going to do the triangles on the on them, and you want them to be lined up, kind of like so. And of course, you want to move fast because hot glue cools quickly. And there's one. Now I'm going to do the others. I'm thinking maybe three or maybe one more shelf. Let's see, one more shelf. Yeah, we're just going to do the one more shelf on here. I'm not going to do six shelves all the way down. That's where we could put something else under that. The next thing I want to do is I want to build like a um, something that goes in the middle so you can hang things on it from both sides. So I cut this out. This is ten and a half by six, so ten and a half and six across. Before I do that, before I get um, cutting it, I'm hopefully I found this paper. I'm hoping that it will fit it. On one side because I like all the little polka dots I think they look kind of uh, rather appropriate so, and I think and remember you don't have to make any of these things if you do not want to this is just the way I'm doing it you are welcome obviously to do things any way you want all I hope is that you might show me some of what you've done. Let's build the rest of this display. I have it covered on both sides. I should be worried about the edges, but I'm not. But I, am, I do have some more of these braces. So I'm going to glue these down. Oh, there we go. On both sides of this. Okay, so you want it to be kind of like this. Get the snake. And then I'm going to glue this to here. And we have the beginnings of a display. Let me show you how we're going to hold things up. Are some of these um lollipop sticks like when you're going like if you're going to the candy making aisle this is where you would find these and i'm going to cut them down so i poked a hole in here and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to kind of push these through to the other side take a little bit of wiggle there we go there now you have something on to hold like a purse purses with or whatever else you want ha hanging up there i'm going to be putting your purses and i'm going to do this in various spots throughout once i've put all the, the pegs in i'm going to just kind of put a dollop of hot glue in the hole around the holes just to make sure that they that they stay in place And I think I only really need to do that on the one side. And now we have a place to put the purses. I'm going to use this to put um, like some shoes on, the shoes that we have, un that I have unpacked. We have the checkout counter here. 
and we just have a now I also want to add okay, a sign. So I've gone with Vix Boutique. Um, you know, because Victoria is a, so anyway, it's gonna go here. So I have a couple more of these. Anyway, now we go back to the inside of the store. And luckily the whole not the, the entire store is not gonna have to be have things made. There are going to be a few things that we have already. I found these at Walmart and the school supply section. So I got two sets. One I've already opened and the other one I have not. And I thought these could look kind of cool as a display for this wall. So. I was kind of thinking maybe, you know, um, maybe something like that. And then put this inside like so. Um, no. uh, that can add a little more shelving. Okay, and then we open up the other one. And I think I'm going to add that up on top of here as well. Please. Here, still trying to figure out how I want everything set up. Maybe like that. This is honestly the hard part when you're trying to figure out just where you want everything. Or do I want them up like that? I, I want them up like this. What do you? I mean, I know you can't actually tell me what you think, but yeah, I think that works. And this is so. Here, here we have another display. And when I, when I opened up the Frozen Moment mini brands, and I didn't get any Frozen Moments, by the way, 10 balls, not a single Frozen Moment, <clears throat> but I did get these. So we can put these up here to be used. And I'm going to put this up, I think, over here, yeah. And there we go. And okay, so we have that. We have these to go up on. Okay. All right, so I have some flowers that can go in here. Maybe over here. And then we can have a plant in or kind of like um, breaking up the way the, the scenery. I think I would like there to be a bench back here. What do you think, huh? And I still have some foam board. Okay, so I think, yep, that'll fit. So I just cut out this, and then these two from both ends, and I'm going to just glue them on each end, and see what we have. And there we go. A little bench in the back, so people can sit down. I saved some of these stickers from the um, the five surprise uh, fashion balls. So I have I, I still have four of these. I was thinking that I could put these that I could put these on here, but I didn't want it to be just white. So I'm also going to repurpose some of the paper that came with the rainbow with the rainbow high um, purses. So I'm going to glue the glue this and see what it looks like. Let me see. And put that on like so. There and now we have some artwork for in the store. And I'm going to do the same thing, use some of this other paper for three more and make some artwork. So I have them all ready and I'm going to now glue them up on this wall here. All 
right. So we even have some artwork on the walls. Now we just have to fill the up the store. The thing I'm going to do before I call this project complete is I, I am going to put a window in here. So what I did after I finished pulling this thing up, there we go, is I printed up a picture I had taken in store of a previous build. So I'm just going to cut out this picture. I'm debating putting like a little building, a little part of a wall out here. Um, I'm going to pull out an old one and see how it looks, see if it's worth adding on to that. I found these from a previous build that I was not over fond of. So I think I am going to put these down in here, but I want to build it so it's out a little, just out just a little bit. So I'm going to start with cutting this one. Now I am going to put some plants down in here. So what I want to do is, there we go. so that'll go on like so. Yeah. So I'm also going to put another um, little shelf kind of like right in here. This way they don't have to go. These that I got at Hobby Lobby, and I think I'm going to put some of these down in here. Okay, now I realize that these probably don't belong in there, but I'm going to put them in anyway. This thing for a while, pull, pulling things off. I had bought it a long time ago because I thought I wanted to have some plants in my house that didn't die. But all it really did was collect dust, and I really hated the look of a fake plant in my house. So um yeah so it's become little by little this thing used to have a whole lot more to it and i've been donating it's been you know a donor for a while so it's still getting a second life right all right now that's finished i like this better uh what do you think so i think this will work better now we have Bix Bix Boutique, and that's what I'm going to see when I, it's sitting on my on my shelf. So anyway, um, in case I forgot, or in case I put this at the very end of the video, because this I've done at the very end of the video, I went to sleep and thought about it. So anyway, but thank you very much for coming by. Thank you for putting on with my meandering way of thinking. I hope you like this video. I hope you like the end result. Please comment, please like, please subscribe. And please, if you make something like this, post a picture. I would love to see what you're doing. And I am certain that yours will probably look better than mine. And my feelings will not be hurt for that. I'll just be happy for you. And hopefully when it, whenever you build something, you're having fun. Thank you for stopping by and goodbye. Okay, so... The boutique is finished. I've got all kinds of different purses in here. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please hit like, please hit subscribe. I'd love for you to comment down below. And uh, thank you very much for stopping by. And goodbye.